hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create sharp narrows acrylic frames inside our xamarin forms application so this plugin has been developed by sharp narrow i'll give that link in my video description below you can get it over there so this frames got inspired from windows platform and the plugin has been developed by sharp narrow so let's start our project where I'm setting main page as my starting page. Before that, let's add sharpnado.presentation.forms inside our shared Android and iOS project. So this is the plugin that I have added inside shared Android and iOS project. After adding it, you don't need to initialize anything inside your Android project. So, but inside our ios project it has dependency so i am initializing subnet initializer dot initialize so that we can get acrylic frames let's go to our main page dot jamal so here i have set background color as static resource common background color and this common background color is being called from our app dot jamal here i have set color x key that is the namespace that I have given for that same color as gray color so that's all from the top part now I have created a list view you don't need actually a list view implementation in this tutorial so you can create a sapnado material frame by taking that tag out with a label name it anything and then take it before this list view to display sapnado material frame excluding that list view out anyway let's go with this tutorial now inside the list view same the background color is transparent and the item selected is one event is there that is going to be triggered and the item source is collection list then this collection list has sharp narrow material frames that is inside our view cell so that is going to be initialized with this namespace now the image 1, image 2 as well as the time is going to get collected from this collection list as it has binding. It's a simple list view implementation using MBVM approach. So you can see over here, we have binded main page view model with main page so that we can get all the list items that is collection list items towards our main page.xaml. You can see over here the binding object is defined inside our Xamarin forms so we will use using Xamarin forms so here the collection list will collect all the information that are required for our list view inside our main page so this collection list has image one time as well as image two that is defined inside this model class you can see over here the image one time and the image two this is a very easy approach for creating a custom list of items for our list view so these are the list of items that will be called over here by this binding source then this sharpnado material forms is going to call style as static resource acrylic frames so all the styles are going to be defined over in this section where after xaml has a key of acrylic frames now this acrylic frame background color will be called from there that is x key acrylic frame background color now we can see over here we should not forget about target type as sharpnado dot material forms will be inherited from this namespace so we should write it over here at top this is how my actual application namespaces looks like now let's go to our ios project and set as startup project i'm going to close all the thing up then you can see over here i have added all the images inside my drawable folder of android and resources folder of ios you can just use some web links too for the demo i have used some static image inside my drawable folder that will be called in each platform so 
that's all for this tutorial now Th thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials